Hey guys, it's me, Dev DX here. Welcome back to another side video and happy Halloween for everyone. Alright guys, so we're we're not going to um we're not going to talk about the movie theaters or anything like that, but we're going to talk about this game itself. It's called Movies. Yes. I am referring to the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game, which is kind of like the movies, though. But anyways, guys, yes. So, sorry that I wasn't here. I was kind of like a busy, you know, for this a sec. But yeah, anyways, guys. Well, you know how, like, Smash Bros. also has a story base, right? So, let's say... If you swallow the darkness itself, then it's like, you definitely want to see all that yellow, um, on that yellow, um, powerful thing. If the, if all the master hands is definitely destroyed, then that does mean that, like, Gawain is dead. So, you can see how he's, like, getting powerful, though. You see how, like, Mario got dead when he was darkness? And then all the world from the Nintendo, from the Smash Bros. series has been destroyed. Also, you can see Dark Eye, and this is how the hero reveal got started. So, you know what I'm saying? But what if... If you're, if if one of these four um DLC fighters left, we already know the world of light trailer. We already know uh from the dark, from the light to the dark. We already know the puppet parties. But is there something to do with the consumed by light or the right station? Well, to me, I feel like that's my personality theory. I'm not so too sure, or definitely want to get something like. For like the light series, you know how like, um, like each like each boss fight if you fight as Darkon or Gally, if you defeat one of them, they'll get their special cinematic cutscene, and then what if it, it does the same thing to them, and then oh it's like. After the heroes reveal, correct me if I'm wrong, and then it's like, we saw that big shining light, and then Mario Gads and all the characters, it would turn into light. So there has to be do something like that universe era. You know how it was like. They had to do something about that reveal after the hero reveal. Maybe that Gino can come to Smash Bros. only and put the um light away and then everything will be back to normal and then let's say, oh, this is the final fight. After you saw like, you know, Joker's reveal or anything like that. Joker all the way through DLC eleven. Yeah, I think DLC eleven it has to be, there has to be like something like a big a a big cinematic movie i'm going to show you what i'm referring to yes this is what i'm talking about this is like this is a huge big deal you know you, you <laughs> sorry guys i'm just totally um laughing a little bit because yeah, like, after, like, I don't know what they're going to do with this DLC 11 reveal. Maybe, maybe it's like, oh, is there, like, a big character that we already know about? And then, oh, you can see Bowser, Simon Belmont, Green Ninja, Fox, Mario, Sonic, Pit from Kid Icarus, Kirby, Zelda, Samus, and all the other, like, Nintendo universe. Is this, is this... Fight is going to end. If we get the final remaining four DLC fighters, could this fight with 
in with the final four newcomers to fight in Smash Bros. Ultimate. Because here's the thing, we got Min Min from ARMS and Steve and Alex from Minecraft. So it does make sense and this is a huge big deal. Alright guys, so tell me in the comments below, what is your thoughts on this? But anyways guys, yes, for 5 o'clock I will start the presents right now. Alright guys, I'll see you later on and peace. We are out here.